Kiss, kiss me, hold, hold me, kiss me, hold me, kiss me, hold me, kiss, kiss, kiss me, say you miss me, miss me, kiss me, love, with heaven. arrive to make their imprints in the famous concrete of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. Filmdom's first blonde and first brunette, Marilyn and Jane won their chance to join Filmdom's immortals by their work in Gentlemen Prefer Blonde. Baseball great Joe DiMaggio and glamorous movie star Marilyn Monroe put an end to weeks of rumors recently when they got married in a surprise civil ceremony at San Francisco City Hall. After posing for pictures, they quickly drove off to an undisclosed location. No one's talking, but rumor has it that America's most glamorous couple will be spending their honeymoon in Tokyo. When a well-known honeymoon couple arrives at Tokyo airport, a throng of 4,000 baseball and movie fans surge out of control, break through police lines. Joe DiMaggio and his bride smile bravely at their greeters, but they don't dare move. So back into the plane they go, while police clear a path to the cargo hatch with the DiMaggio's convertible. The stratagem works. The former Yankee slugger and his picture bride escape into the car and head for the safety of their hotel. But their troubles aren't over. Next day comes a press conference where the public was barred, but the photographers and reporters more than made up for that. 
Their questions were rough, ranging from the risque to the ridiculous. And Joe, he's the forgotten man, which is something in Japan where baseball is so popular. Ah, me, never underestimate the power of you-know-who. But enough's enough. His patience is exhausted, and Joe says, go. <laughs> Pure pandemonium reigns in Tokyo as Joe DiMaggio, the once great Yankee clipper, extends the field of the Monroe Doctrine by bringing his beautiful star bride to the land of the cherry blossoms. Having demonstrated how to marry a millionaire in a comedy masterpiece of film, Marilyn shows she knows how to manage millions by taking her multitudinous reception in stride. There hasn't been anything like Marilyn and Joe in all of Japan's history, and the photogs make the most of it. Proving curves that can get a great batter have also diplomatic twists in the field on international goodwill. A triumph worthy of How to Marry a Millionaire. Mrs. Joe DiMaggio, Marilyn Monroe that is, arrives with Joe in Tokyo for a month's honeymoon in Japan. One picture, a thousand words. Marilyn, it seems, has misplaced one brand new husband and doesn't know where to find him. Happily reunited, the newlyweds pose like newlyweds for the photographers. In Japan, from one and all, a big hello to Marilyn and Joe. Marilyn Monroe invades frozen Korea, and the GIs come a runner, vowing unconditional surrender. The screen star has come for a four day, 10 show tour of the front. Marilyn proves that there's nothing drab about G.I. slacks and shirt, depending on how you look at it, as she heads for her first performance. 13,000 Marines whoop it up as a now glamorous Marilyn steps front and center, while MPs have their hands full. Having the time of her life, Marilyn wriggles her way into the hearts of the Leathernecks. Coyly, she admits, I've never seen so many men in all my life. Back boy, Marilyn must come and go, and Korea, for the G.I.s, can never be the same. After a year's absence, Marilyn Monroe flew back to Los Angeles from New York and answered reporters' questions. How do you feel about coming back to Hollywood? Have a happy time for you or... 